Next thing we're looking at is, I think the company's called Chiffon, high quality, high service, the best choice of coffee lovers. We have two things here we're showing you. The canister, which I've never had one of these before. It's kind of cool. This is an airtight canister for keeping your beans or your fresh grounds. Uh, I'm gonna put my beans in here, but then I'm gonna grind it up and put them back in here to keep them fresh. And then look at this. Look at it, it's a reusable coffee drip filter. That's right. So you take this, you put that in there. So the little things matter to me. Like one, this drip coffee setup comes with a little wooden spoon. Look how cool this is. You may not care, but I do. For like cream and sugar and everything, you can mix it all up, I'm guessing. And then you have your airtight coffee canister that comes with the coffee ground scoop. And on the top here, it rotates and you can put the day, the day and the, uh, the month that the coffee went in. Right now, I'm just gonna put these coffee grounds in here. They're not ground up, but having them in an airtight canister is way better. Oh my gosh, they smell great still. Whoa, there we go, perfect. And there you go, you, you can put this on the side if it's full, or you can just stick it in like that, see? And then you close it, and you lock it airtight. Voila, sealed, just like that. That's awesome. Should we try this? Can we try this? All right. Let's see how this works. <laughs> One. Oh no, I'll put in two of these. That's, that should be enough. These are heaping. These are big scoops. Two. Okay. It says first just to moisten the coffee grounds. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there just to get it wet. Starting to drip already. And you want to watch the water level, okay? So here we go. All right, so I pulled the filter out. I'm gonna pull this off, ready? Here we go. Ta-da! Wow, that does look like a dark, rich cup of coffee. All right, here we go. I may have filled a little too high, <laughs> but I have peppermint mocha creamer in there. I just added it, so it's going to be good, I'm sure. Whoa. All right, that's like the, that's like the strongest cup of coffee I've had in years since I had, like, you ever had Cuban coffee or Vietnamese coffee? This is strong. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm bouncing off the walls in about five minutes. All right, I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee and it's time to get on to the next item. Now this one I'm not gonna to demonstrate too much, but I've always wanted to try this. Lots of times, you know what a, a herb bouquet is? It's when you take cheesecloth and you put like uh, fresh rosemary, fresh sage, a bay leaf, and then you tie it up. It's a big pain in the butt. So I, I asked for one of these from banggood.com. And see this, look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna put my herbs in here from now on and just kind of hang it off the side of the pot or whatever. And this is going to allow the herbs to flavor my recipe. This is for tea, but I'm using this for herbs in the kitchen. So the next time I have to do an herb bouquet, uh, drop it into a stew or a soup or whatever, I'm gonna use this basket right here. So this is a great little stocking stuffer item. Cost, a, I don't know, a dollar or two or something crazy. Uh, but it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Plenty of seasoning can go in here. And then when you're done, you pull it out. You don't have to fish out your seasoning or your uh, cheesecloth or whatever. It's right here in the basket. Yes, that's right. These are cut resistant gloves. And I recommend cut resistant gloves to anybody who's like me that may cut yourself a lot in the kitchen. I don't cut myself a lot. I've only done it like seven times on the show. But if you're worried about cutting with knives and stuff, these are made for the kitchen. And they don't, I mean, you could probably cut through these if you took a knife right to them. But if you accidentally come across them, you're protected. So uh, whether it's uh, an elderly person that may shake a little bit, 
Um, maybe it's uh, a kid who's just learning uh, to cut or someone like me who's just knife skills are horrible. These are a great gift. They are cut resistance, uh, resistant and they are great for food prep. You can keep these in the kitchen, clean them up, throw them in the wash, whatever. And that's it. Uh, they're inexpensive, a great little gift. Trust me, there are people out there who are afraid of knives. This will give them a little added protection, uh, make them feel better. All right, the next device, we've got a few outdoorsy devices. This is one called Out of Doors Cooking Set. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is made by a company named Cottle, K-O-T-T-L-E. I don't know if you guys are campers or hikers or whatever, but I'm going to be doing some outdoor cooking this summer. We're going to do some, we call them hobo dinners, and you can cook them over a campfire. All right, so you have some accessories, and then you have the lid. What is all this stuff? Look at this. It comes with a lot of stuff. Little bowls for eating. Wow, look at these handles. I love these handles. Look. All this came inside. This was inside that, was inside that. So when you take everything apart, you've got, you've got two pieces of cookware. Got the lid that fits on both of them. You got a scooper to serve out, right? And like if you're doing like hard boiled eggs or something or you want to pull something out of the whatever you're cooking. Okay, you got a little device here that came. I don't even know what this is. What is this? What? This is great. Oh, okay. And this goes on top of, this screws onto a propane tank. Uh, you know, those green, I think it's those green propane. And then it becomes a stove. Let's take a look. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That was it. It just slides open, right? And got a little lighter here. You click it and it sparks the gas. Pretty nice. All right, so you screw it on your propane. You set your pot like that on top of it. And then you can make your eggs. You can cook whatever you want. So it's fully functional. You got the whole set, everything you need uh, for outdoor cooking. And it, would, it fits in this little carry, carry pouch. This is a great gift. So the link's down below if you want to get this for somebody who camps and hikes and goes river rafting or whatever. Hey, take this with you and have a meal on the road or on the campgrounds or wherever you're at. All right, so I know this isn't a kitchen item, but because I was doing some outdoor stuff, another company sent me this stuff on the show. This is a, this is a giveaway. I'm giving this away. It's called Way North. And it is an armband pouch for your cell phone. Let's take a look at it here. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, see, it's not even going to hold my cell phone. Ugh. All right, well, my cell phone doesn't fit in that. So I'm not exactly sure what they want me to put in there other than my money, my ID. Kind of uh, a bummer, too. So, I'm giving this away. If you have a smaller cell phone, I have the 6S Plus. So an iPhone would fit in there. Uh, Samsung Galaxy should fit in there. The Note or the Plus will not fit in this. But if you're interested in this and you live in the USA, uh, I will mail this to you. Uh, it's built real well, it's sturdy. I just wish they would have made it a little bit bigger. So the company that sent me the armband also sent me this. It's called eGoGo. I'm keeping this one because I've always wanted, you guys see these, uh, they're kind of like half backpacks. They're kind of slanted and cut. Kind of cool looking. And it looks like, yeah, let's see if my phone will fit in there. Come on. Work with me here, guys. Work with me. All right. My phone fits in there. That's awesome. So you have a pocket for your cell phone. Let's flip it over. You have a side pocket for like a bottle of water. This is kind of cool. You have another, what is this? Another thing that holds, I'm gonna show you this way. Another thing that holds pens and wallet and 
just just your whatever information you need to carry on you. And then I'm wondering, is this for? Forgive me, I'm not the outdoors type, guys, but I'm wondering if this has something to do with. It's almost uh, like keys, or would it be for earbuds? Or you guys know what that's for? Let me know. Let's go to the bigger compartment. This is the cool one. It's got another pocket inside right there. It's got plenty of room inside. Maybe an iPad or a book or something. And this is just kind of perfect, just grab and go. It's got a good padding on the back side here. Good padding on the shoulder strap. Oh, look at this. And there's even more stuff. I'd put my keys right in here probably. It's got a tight lipped black bag on the strap or that's probably for your cell phone too. You can just have it sticking out. Whoops. You don't want to see my messages. You can probably put your, oh yeah, there it is. I put my cell phone in there and then I put my earbuds in it. All right. Took me a few minutes to figure it all out, but uh, you can get this for somebody if you want. Uh, who's the outdoors type. We are moving up in size now. Look at this. Ego Go sent me this too. And this one is even bigger. And I still have no idea what any of this stuff is for, but you guys can help me figure this out. This is a giveaway right here. So let's take a look at it. All right, so you have the shoulder straps. Then you have this with two, two zipper pockets and that expands, that goes around your waist. So when you're hiking, you can just snap that around you. And you got two zipper pockets for SD cards or whatever you want. You can put a car key in there. You don't want to carry anything else in this bag. And those are on your sides. Airstream system. I'm not even sure what an Airstream system is, but it says it's an Airstream system. So, oh, I know what this is for. This is to keep, I think, your back from sweating. This is a guess, guys. I have no idea. But I'm guessing that this is kind of bowed out. There's a support beam in here and it allows air to travel between the backpack and your back. I'm guessing. If I'm wrong, correct me. Not that you guys ever hold back. All right, now let's look at the front here. The front has a bunch of stuff. We have a zipper here on this compartment. Put something in there. We got a, another pulley kind of thing. I don't know what that's for. Then you have another pocket here. Wow, this thing's got a lot of places to... Look how big that is. It's got a netted area. I'm thinking like I'd put like maybe, I don't know, a wet bathing suit in here because it's vinyl lined so it won't get anything else wet. You got another pocket here to put stuff in. Water bottle. Another thing here. Maybe a cell phone in here. And then the big, let's get the big compartment open here, guys. Let me show you that. So the big compartment. There's the big compartment. You could put a small laptop in here. 11, 13, maybe a 13 inch. Oh yeah, you could put a 13 inch laptop in here. Right in there. There you go. You got a separation pocket. And it's all good. You have a camera equipment in here. That's it. It's the Hiking 30L. I'm glad I got some giveaways. So if you want the, the pizza cutter, the pizza peel, and the cutting board, let me know. You want the giant backpack or the armband uh, pack, let me know. I'm even giving away the brand new cut resistant gloves, the Yeti holder and the outdoor cooking set. I'm giving away all this stuff. You have to be USA resident because it's just too expensive to ship overseas, okay? But to my international viewers, because I cannot stand not giving you guys some, a chance for something, uh, two bags of jerky I'm gonna ship anywhere in the world. This, you have to be an international viewer. It's not going to anybody in the USA. So I'm gonna mail you guys something, all right? So I got all this. The way to get entered in to win all this is just go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash cooking with Jack. All right. I want you to like the page and then I want you just to message me privately and say, I want, but um, whatever it is. And I will choose people randomly. 
I will see you on the next episode. Enjoy. Be safe out there on Black Friday. Shop online if you can. Shop locally. That's even better. And support mom and pa businesses. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.